Hello there friends, welcome to a brand new Minecraft adventure. We're in All The Mods 9, the latest version, in the latest version of Minecraft 1.20. I've generated a brand new world and as you can see right next to me we have a starter chest just to make things a little bit easier. The goal for this series is to investigate the new version of Mine Colonies and to use all that All The Mods 9 has to offer to build a pretty cool farm to help us support that colony. I've generated a brand new world and it looks really sweet, I lucked out massively. But just to show you guys, here's a look at the immediate surrounding area. So as we swoop away from the starter chest you can see there's water very close by, important for fisheries, but it can also serve as a defence for new colonies because when raiders come they go really slow through the water, but yeah just a hop and a skip over the river you can see this massively cool raised hilly area full of trees and well possibilities. Can't wait to get stuck in, anyway without further ado let's jump in, it's day one and I've got a lot to do to make sure I can survive the first night and I don't know what all the mods 9 is going to throw at me, so well let's find out. So bada bing bada boom let's get going, first step is to check out this loot chest and I'm not quite sure what an all the mods 9 loot chest is going to give us to start with, I mean oh man this is pretty much bare bones isn't it? We get an iron guidebook from iron spells and spell books, might come in handy later on. We get origins of darkness, okay cool, bit of bread that'll help. Raw salmon, not cooked, could have been cooked but never mind. An axe and some wood and a whoopee cushion, what the hell? A whoopee cushion, now a lot of you guys really hated the whoopee cushion from the first uh, all the mods 6 series I did so we're gonna put that straight on. Don't worry this, this series is gonna be annoying from the get go. Oh yeah, right, so <laughs> let's get going. First things first, we're gonna have to survive the first night which means we need to get some wool. Now which direction was, yeah take a look at the map, this thing is the bee's knees. Now this area over here is where we decided we were gonna build our colony. So we're gonna have to get some sheep and luckily enough there's some on the way. So we're gonna go over in this direction. Which, which direction was that? I Down along the coast, okay yeah. Now we've gotta be careful because there is a generated structure over there. And there's this thing which I think is from like nature craft, I, I, I definitely saw it in my last series. But we'll give it a wide berth for now because we don't want to wake the dragon. So speaking of the other series, we kind of abruptly stopped the All The Mods 8 series and I have to apologise for that, real life got busy for me, renovations and things, but now we're back and a bunch of you guys had submitted names, tell you what I'll grab some of these red roses because they're amazing. A bunch of you guys had submitted names to be members of our colony and don't worry I've carried over the old list so everybody that submitted a name via Patreon, your names are still in this and you're going to be in the colony. Likewise a massive thank you to all of you guys who do support me on Patreon and who are YouTube members and if you want to get involved in this series you can head on over to Patreon or become a YouTube member and make a name submission in the name submission post to get a name of your choosing into the colony. Okay one wool. So what we're looking for is I think six wool for, for a good reason here because we want a sleeping bag that gives us the portable way to sleep and skip the night but we also want a regular bed so that we can reset our spawn because heavens forbid we might actually die. Now it's unlikely that'll really happen because hey I'm, I'm a pro minecrafter right? Now nah, who am I kidding I'm gonna be dying left right and centre. Come here, come here sheepies, give me your wool. It always feels like a waste killing sheep rather than shearing them but I mean at this stage of the game we don't have any shears. I was kind of expecting the starter chest to have maybe some iron tools or at least stone but wood. Man the starter chest is, is pretty weak. Anyway let's take a look. So we've got three white wool, enough for a sleeping bag, the most important one and we can make a bed when we get a bit more sheep. Oh no there's fire over there, who started a fire? What's going on over here? Is it lava? It must be lava right? Ah yeah there it is, the culprit. Luckily enough hasn't turned into a full fledged forest fire so we're okay. Okay so our mission for the first day is to get our first colony building built. We're going to build a supply ship on the coast, grab the materials we need and see if we can get the builder's hut created. But the first thing we're going to do is trade in these wooden tools for some stone ones. So I accidentally broke the wooden axe, killing sheep, that's fine. We can make ourselves a new one, no sweat. There should be wood at the centre of these, yeah there we go. And we'll make a crafting bench, pretty simple. 
Now we're also gonna need a place for us to live as well. So we'll have to look into that in the future. But for now, we're gonna go very, very, very simple and make ourselves just a little kind of hovel to live in. And you know what, easier than building walls, we're gonna build a little cave here that's gonna be our first starter home. This will be the door, in we go. And then we'll carve out a little hole inside here to fit our bed. It's not exactly pretty, but the first night never is, is it? Okay, what are we doing here? Bring the crafting bench inside. And now let's expand this room a little bit more, because we are going to need room to put things down like furnaces, anvils, whatever, you know. And of course the bed. Oh, getting close now. So let's make this bed pretty lickety split. We can use a bed rather than a sleeping bank to start with, just because it'll also set our spawn and we can sleep here, no worries. So boom, good spot for a bed. Might as well see if we can find some stone now. So we're going to dig a little bit of a staircase down here and boom, jackpot, there it is. First piece of stone. And there we go, should be able to sleep soon. Aha, so the day has dawned. We have survived the first night, guys. Congratulations, we did it, we didn't die. Big achievement there. So eight pieces of cobble gets us a furnace. Three will get us an axe, etc., etc. So all the mods nine, that's what we're playing. And the mod pack has a few things that are gonna make our quality of life much, much better. I mean, for one, sleeping bags are amazing, but also there's much better tools in the form of silent gear tools. They're gonna help us clear down entire trees and flatten areas much quicker. Oh man, rain. That ain't cool. So there we go, a furnace. Oh, amazing, we're making amazing progress already. We're gonna have to grab some wood though so we can make some torches. And we're gonna wanna clear out all of these shrubberies and hedges. It's gonna be a bit of a pain because each one of these only has one block of wood. It's pretty lame. But it's a job that needs doing because this area needs to get purified. So one of the problems with all the mods 8, the last series that we did that was kind of cut short, is that we spread ourselves a little bit too thin and we really did neglect the colony. There had been some changes to mine colonies that made the colony we chose a bit of a, a, bit, of a bit of a ball ache, to be honest. We used uh, the Hobbit build style, which was a, a nice build style to begin with but it didn't actually look that great later on and uh, I kind of regret choosing it. So we're gonna have a look and see if there's any cool new building styles to check out in Mine Colonies, because I'm all about the new things. So if you made it this far into the video, congratulations, thank you for sticking by me, but also you beat the algorithm and I want you to put in the comments section what you think is the most important thing to craft and or make when you're starting a brand new modded Minecraft playthrough. Now I say modded because yeah, I mean a bed is pretty up there, but I want you to think outside the box and tell me what you think is the most important thing from a mod that you think should be built. Because maybe I've done it, maybe I won't do it, and uh, yeah, honestly, I could use the advice. Okay, that's a sizable amount of wood. Let's make some torches. Ah, looks like the weather has cleared up, amazing. Little bit of charcoal, let's do it, make some torches. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so we've got a crafting table, we've got a furnace, we've got a bed, uh, and we've got a little bit of a mine going on down here that we're now gonna light up. And a torch in here because it could get pretty dark. So next up, we're gonna need a place to store all of our cool stuff. Well, okay, we could use Minecraft chests, but there's gotta be something better in modded Minecraft. And bam, you know it. We've got sophisticated storage here, which lets us build a rudimentary computer system, I believe. Storage drawers could be an idea. We used those in the last version of uh, Mine Colonies. But I think, yeah, there's not much really to go for here. So we're gonna go for just like a regular chest because that's basically all we can afford right now. But it does mean we're gonna need some more wood. Now I've gotta be careful because I'm getting sidetracked. The main goal of this episode is to get a supply ship built. That's gonna solve a lot of our problems because the supply ship comes with a lot of cool supplies. In fact, if you're playing all the mods nine or eight or seven or six or any version that has mine colonies, the supply ship or the supply camp is a really solid thing to build. In fact, shameless promotion, but if you are looking for tips and tricks on what to do with mine colonies, do check out my other videos because I have made some videos that go over how to find a really good starting location for your first colony and things you should look out for and ways you should go forwards when you're starting your brand new colony. But the name of this episode is Progress. Well, no, the name of this episode is episode one. But the other name of this episode is Progress. We really do need to get a really good start going with mine colonies. So now that we've got some wood, we're going to put down some chests, clear out our pack a bit. And now we can get cooking. Two double chests to begin with. And we'll put them side by side. 
So we're going to put organics in the right. This will help us separate food, flowers, and uh, maybe dirt as well. As well as saplings that are going to become very important pretty soon. And then in the left, we're going to put everything else. Now there is one clear winner. In the War of Doors, there is one clear winner. There is one superior door better than all other doors. And I think you might know what kind of door that is. And if you do, drop it in the video comment and I'll give you an upvote and a like. But if you don't know, well, uh, maybe check out some of my other videos. But it begins with M and ends in Hogany. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, cool. Okay, yeah, amazing. So we've got a little hovel. It's got a door. Oh my god, picturesque. Rightmove.com, definitely worth 500k. Grass not included though, I'm taking that when I move. Let's take a look. We've got to make a supply ship. Now supply ships are generally superior to supply camps. Plus they have the added bonus of not being on land, which means you can kind of hide them out of the way. There we go. So a supply boat uses, I think, five boats in a U shape. And kablamo, the supply ship. Amazing first steps. Let's go and find a place to plonk this down. Anyway, it looks like the coast over here is the perfect place for a supply ship. So let's hop on over. Yeah, you know what? This is this is a nice big ocean. Let's go and see what Mine Connollys has to offer in the form of new supply ships. Okay, let's move this into position. So we use these tools over here to slip this and lower it to be level with the water. And here we go. So this is from the... Which, which pack do we start with? I don't know. This is This is a boat though. Amazing. So what are the new packs? Well, Incan is something that's kind of new we haven't tried. Desert Oasis doesn't really suit where we are. Space Wars are classic. Stalactite Caves is an underground option that, well, sounds like it's going to require a lot of digging, but looks pretty cool. Now, Medieval Oak is the style we went for in our last playthrough, and it was pretty cool. But there's got to be something new. Colonial? This is the default mine colony style, is it really? Well, it looks pretty cool. It's brand new, I like that crane. You know what, we're gonna pull the trigger on colonial style. Oh yeah, and look at this boat. Majestic, well-built, love the flag up there. Okay, well, let's find this a place to live. Colonial looks like it's gonna be the perfect style for us. To put down the supply ship, you need to make sure the area is 100% clear, and that means even kelp has to go. So let's just make sure there is no kelp inside this bounding box. There is here and here. Ta-da! Amazing! Achievement made, advancement made, mine colonies. Craft a supply camp or ship and place it. Amazing! Now these are super good because they give us so many raw materials to get going with. Now we're going to have to come back here, here and there, so I'm going to make a nice little kind of dock for this once I'm done with this episode, but for now we can just jump in and jump on. Yeah, let's raid this bad boy. What kind of goodies does this thing have? So the things we're looking for are the build tool and uh, I think the town hall are very important. There's a map here. Must be here for a reason, so we'll hold on to it. Books are always good too. Yeah, here. Ooh, what are, what are calipers? Well, they must be used for something. And it's definitely mine colony, so we'll hold on to them. Here's the build tool, here's the town hall. So let's go below deck now and see if we can find anything else. Ooh, yeah, look at this. A stone cutter and an architect's cutter. These two are going to be very useful for us. The Architect's Cutter now is integral to Mine Colonies. It wasn't there in my last Mine Colonies series. Well, it was in all the mods 6 or 8. 8. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Stone Tools. Great. They'll come in handy. We're also going to take this hay and this kelp because why not? Oh, and it's exposed a hidden barrel with sand. What else is in here? Any more barrels? 64 oak logs, great. And that looks to be about it. Now these starter supply ships and camps usually have something secret hidden away inside them. I'm not quite sure what it'll be in this ship, but we can take a look, see if we can unravel anything. We'll take these racks, they're gonna be useful. Aha, uh -huh, more barrels, tripwires, fantastic. A flower pot, sure. Oh, amazing, yeah, food. That's gonna help us not starve. Cobblestone, good to have. Even more oak logs. And some 
cooked stone. Fantastic. So where are the secrets in this ship? What are we looking at? There's a composter. That'll be cool. What about... Yeah, I think there might be something on... Yes, there we go. The mast has a block of coal. It's not amazing, but it's something. Aha, look at this. So there are some spruce, oak, and dark oak saplings in here. They're going to come in really, really handy. I wouldn't mind some birch as well, but you know, can't have everything. So what else are we missing? Oh god, oh no. It's getting to night time. I cannot let monsters spawn, so we're going to have to get back to base ASAP. So one thing that's going to make our life easier, especially around the colonies that I hope all the mods have, is some kind of road system. Let's take a look. Whoa, yeah, it does. Stone, oh my god, stone road with a curb. Ah, oh, that's amazing. One thing I really want to do is make a very pretty looking colony. And if we can make some proper stone roads with curbs, that's going to go towards it. But yeah, I am excited to see what cool things there are in All The Mods 9. And actually, if some of you guys have played a bit of All The Mods 9 and you think there's something really cool you want to see me check out, do mention it in the comment section. One of the big things that I really want to get into in this version of All The Mods is create because check this out train track train casing train station there's a whole new level of trains available in this version of create so i can't wait to check that out so let's pillage even more of this boat nothing on the uh, on the poop deck nothing up by the uh, by the wheel but yeah let's take a look up the mast now because that is a barrel right there oh there's so many barrels hidden in these sails there's granite here perfect what else is hiding up here there's some stone bricks. Wait, what is that? Astra. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. Let's dig it up. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> we'll have to grab that. This is an empty barrel. That's an empty barrel. We're going to take some damage now and go and grab this egg. All right, so this is a spawn egg for Astra. I have no idea what or who that is so we're definitely going to be grabbing that oh look at this perfect for surviving the first night a whole set of armor that's actually pretty amazing so my top tip for you guys is as soon as you find a place to put your base build a supply ship it's got everything you need to succeed okay that looks to be everything opened and raided we've got all the essentials let's get back to base and work out where we're going to put down our first buildings also, very exciting, let's see who the first colonists are. So if you want to submit your name, head on over to Patreon or the YouTube members post that I've made as this video goes out and add the names that you want. The naming format is first name and then last name and they need a gender. But the names are going to be mixed up. So if you put a first name and somebody else puts a last name, often they can be combined. So if you put like John Smith and someone else puts Dan Grave, you might get John Grave. So if you want your full name to be one of the names, put it as just a first name, and then you can create whatever second name you want, I guess. Okay, oh yeah, lots and lots of space, lots and lots of possibility. I do think what we're probably gonna do is fill in this ravine and get rid of this ad hoc river because it's not amazing. And the town hall has to be at the center of your colony. Basically, the boundaries of your colony expand with the town hall. So we wanna make sure this is relatively central to where we're gonna be building. And this looks pretty good. But before we get going, we're gonna see what Astra is. So I'm gonna go over here. And because I think it might be an animal, I have a theory that this is like a cow or a sheep or a pig or something. We're gonna make some fences to put this guy in. And the gate goes here. Okay, time to unleash Astra. Oh, the moment of truth. What are you? What are you, you crazy fool? Oh, it's a cat. And it's running away. Really should have closed that gate. Let's try and feed her some raw fish. Because that's the way to do it, isn't it? You're supposed to sneak up to a cat, give it a raw fish. Oh, man. Come here, you. Oh, she's scarpered. Come here, I've got you trapped. Eat the fish. Eat the fish, cat. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Amazing. So easy. In you get. Come here. Is she coming? There we go. Sit down. Good girl. Okay, so let's put down this town hall. Like I said, we want it to be over here, kind of near to the boat, so that we can get a fisherman's hut 
placed down over near the coast. This place right here looks pretty good to me. You use the build tool, you right click, we're on Colonial Pack, should be in the fundamentals, there it is, Town Hall. And yeah, let's take a look and see what this thing looks like throughout the levels. Okay, spin it around so it's facing this way. I think that's right. Yeah, looks looks about right. It's a big building, isn't it? Yeah, oh, you know, this is this is quite a good spot. It's not small. I'm used to much smaller buildings. Medieval Oak was much easier for us. But what does it look like as it levels up? Level two, level three. Oh, whoa. Level four. Level 5. Wait a minute, hang on a sec. I'm, I definitely understand the vibe here. This looks very White house -y. I think this is definitely Colonial America, isn't it? And, yeah, you know what? I think this is a pretty cool looking place to put our first building. So it looks good, but what we're going to do as well, and this is quite important, is we're going to go over here and try and get close to where the actual Town Hall block spawns. Because sometimes when you put down a building, it can spawn underground and you can't find it. Right click pull the trigger, boom, we're ready to start our colony. No nearby colony found, and we don't own a colony, so we're, we're able to create one here. Boom, there we go. So any second now, we're going to start to get our first four colonists. Let's see what their names are. And this is the moment where I realise I've messed something up, and the wrong names spawn. Honestly, the amount of trouble I've had with colonists' names and getting them to work is crazy, but I think I've ironed it out now and got it correct. We'll know for sure pretty soon, though. Yeah, that's... That's not right, is it? Okay, right, so I think I fixed it. Looks like Ukraine isn't the only thing that the Russians are invading. They're also hitting my colony, too. Damn you, Putin! It's nowhere sacred. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see if the second name is correct. There we go, you mother trucker! And it looks kind of correct. It, lo it looks English, at least. There we go, Roland McPoodle. Skulldiggery Fester. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So Fester is, of course, the best and most amazing admin of the Discord server. Thank you very much. And Roland McPoodle is also a Patreon name. Now, this Russian lady, I guess, well, you're going to have to stay. I don't want to have to kill you. That's bad for our colony. It'll make everybody else upset. So I guess you get to stay for now. Does anybody even know how to pronounce that? If you know how to pronounce that, let me know in the comment section, because I'd, I'd like to be able to say her name correctly. And who's the last member going to be? It's Witchy Wolf. Excuse me. Excuse me, Fester. Come on, move. Or McPoodle, even. Witchy Wolf Foam Tankard. Nice. Okay, so these are our first four dudes. So we have the location for the town hall, that's amazing, but we can't build the town hall until we have a builder, and we can't have a builder until we have a builder's hut. Now, because we can't build the builder's hut without a builder, stay with me, we're going to have to put down the hut's block and let the builder build his own builder's hut. That's right, the builder's hut is the only building in mine colonies that can be built without having a builder's hut. And just as you'd suspect, the builder's hut is actually the easiest hut to build. Oh, but before we do that also, I'm going to start putting down some saplings because we're going to need all kinds of wood to build these first buildings. So spruce is going to be essential. There's plenty of oak around, but what we're also going to need is some white birch. So do we see any birch trees? That's not a birch tree, is it? No, it's something else. Oh man, you're not a birch tree. Oh, son of a birch. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should check out this weird castle thing over here, although I, I, I think it might have illagers in it, so... Oh! Hello! Birch! Thank goodness. Not too far away from camp either, we're just over there. That's quite lucky, but honestly, finding those first few saplings in a modded Minecraft playthrough, considering how biomes generate, can be a real pain in the butt. So a little bit away from the spruce forest, we're going to put down the birch, I guess over here, clear out some of this grass. And fingers crossed, these trees will come up while we're doing some other things. I mean, they better. I'm in trouble if they don't. Yeah, there we go. Looks good. Okay, so now we need a location for the builder's hut. And again, this is going to have to be near to the town hall. You kind of want your first builder's hut to be very central, because your builder's going to have to go backwards and forwards between the builder's hut and whatever they're building quite frequently. 
So I'm thinking maybe up here on this hill is a good idea. So here we go. We're going to right click. We're going to go to, is it fundamentals? Yeah, builder's hut. There we are. Get a bit further back so we can see what we're doing. It's colonial style. It looks pretty good. What does it look like? A level one, two, three. Oh yeah, there's the crane. What a bad boy. Four and five. Oh, very nice. So we're going to go to level one. Shift it back a bit to the side. And that looks like a pretty cool place to me, very close to the town hall. But there's enough room out here for us to put down a bit of a road. Now let's make sure we know where the builder's hut block is going to be. Right there. Pull the trigger. Dig down to the builder's hut. There it is. And here we go, a quick guide, but we can skip this because we know exactly how this thing works. So who is going to be our first builder? Time for us to decide. The hiring is going to be manual. And which one of these mother truckers has the best stats? So we want athletics and adaptability. It looks like it's going to be old Uncle Fester himself, Skull Diggory. Boom. So we have a builder. There he is. Dressed to build, medieval style. We have the builder's hut block placed. Is he going to get going with this? Well, no. We need to know what he needs to make the building. And the best way to do that, and this is one of the really important things you're going to want to build early in a Mine Colony series, is a builder's resource scroll. It shouldn't be too hard to build. How's it going, Astra? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, leather, sticks, and a build tool. So we do need a bit of leather, which means we're going to need some cows. Oof, here we go. Time to find some cows. I'll come back to you in a bit when I've gone off and found some leather. Uh, was it two leather in the middle? And boom, a resource scroll. Now what we want to do is go over to the builder's hut and we can right click to attach this to the builder's hut. And doing so will show us exactly what the builder who is building there needs for their next job. So shift right click, linked resources for builder's hut. And let's take a look. Required resources. Well, he doesn't require anything. And that's because we haven't actually set this building to build yet. So we're going to rename this also to Fester's Build Hole. There we go. <laughs> nice. Fester's Build... <laughs> oh, no. Couldn't quite fit the L and the E. So it's Fester's Build Ho. <laughs> sure, that works. Whatever. Anyway, build options. And yeah, let's take a look at what we actually do need for this job. Now, like I said to begin with, we do need actually some birch, only one. We also need a little bit of spruce, only one. But the rest of it is mostly oak, so we're pretty okay there. However, there's this weird thing here, framed stripped oak wood. And that is going to need the kind of weird saw thing we got from the ship to make. But other than that, this all looks very, very simple, very, very easy for us to do. So the builder has everything he needs now. Take a look at this resource scroll. Yeah, and he's fully stocked. He even has the rack that we pinched from the boat earlier. Isn't that right, Astra? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's one thing we need to do now is put down the architect's cutter. We'll do that probably here because we'll... No, no, we'll put it over here out back by the chests. So the remaining things we need to do with the architect's cutter is make the framed stripped oak wood and we need to gather some gravel. Yeah, there we go. Frame stripped oak wood. Click that. Grab it out of the cutter. Amazing. We won't make any more because I'm not sure if we need any more. But let's go over and give these to the builder. Gloop, gloop, gloop. And of course, the number one place to look for gravel, as always, is underwater. And we're very close to multiple water sources, so that's great news. Oh no, but that reminds me, there's so many leaves around here. There is one more thing our builder is going to need to get going, and that's going to be shears. And he's only going to work with iron shears, because he's really difficult. Oof. Now, unluckily, this ocean is pretty deep, so finding gravel here might actually be quite tricky. So do you know what? Probably a better bet is to check out the river. So while we're out and about, we need gravel, but we also need a couple of bits of iron. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled on these bits of rock sticking out because this is often a great place for you to find iron as well. Oh, there we go. There's the gravel. Just the ticket. And we need 22 of this. Well, 23. And now for some iron. So let's take a look around here at some of these exposed bits of rock. 
Oh, well, let's get some more gravel, because why not? Oh, there goes the shovel. Oh, okay, it's going to be dangerous, but I think instead of finding it exposed on the outside, we're going to go spelunking a bit, see if we can find some in this little hole. Come here, you. What are we looking? Oh, are you ironed? No. Oh, skeleton. Oh, no! Oh, my God. That was close. He was electrified as well. So remember, people at home, clean up your creeper holes. It does nothing but annoy your friends. Um, I don't see any iron. Coal's always great. But let's keep the gravy train going, because I do feel like we'll get lucky and find some iron. It's not that uncommon, is it? It's pretty common. It's not rare. It's not a rare thing. Oh, copper. Ugh, useless. Although it might have a use in mine colonies, or even all the mods nine. Sometimes all you need is just a little bit of copper. Get out of here, scum. This is my iron hole. Ah, oh, creeper spotted. But this looks like my best bet. If there isn't iron down here, I don't know where there's going to be iron. Oh, no, so he wasn't a lightning creeper. They just look like that anyway. So, where are we going? What are we doing? Looking for iron. And try not to get blown up. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, the first death, the first day, the first episode, the first death. Honestly, I should have seen that coming. Here we go, down the hole. This is, I'm pretty sure this is where I died. Yeah, I'm getting very close. Honestly, it might be worthwhile just looking around as a, a ghost for a bit. See if I can see any iron. Do not want to mess with that, chief. Okay, here we go, round two. Try me now, fool. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god, there's a... Oh my god! Why is it so deadly down here? I'm gonna run out of torches at this... Hello! Finally. Yowza! Two bits of raw iron. That's all we found. Well, time to get back to base and turn them into something useful. Collect our ingots. Turn them into some shears. And I believe we have everything our builder needs to get going. The day has just dawned. There has never been a better time for us to get started. So let's do it. He's got gravel. He's got the weird spruce stone cutter things. And he's going to have the wooden tools he needs to get building. Let's do it. So required resources. The frame stripped and the gravel. He's 100% supplied. Amazing. Work, work. Shears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him the tools, set up a camera, and we can watch this in a time lapse. Do my best work for you. So here we go. Work has begun by Skull Degree Fester, our Builder Supreme on the very first building of our colony, the Builder's Hut. Now, I wish I could tell him that, hang on a sec, Festa, if you dig the wood, the leaves will vanish. Unfortunately, he's going to have to work that out on his own. Now, usually it's a really good idea for you to help the Builder out yourself by digging out some of this terrain manually. It'll save your Builder on tools because the earlier tools he uses, the wooden ones, just really don't last very long and it's a real pain to have to constantly give him new tools. You can also help this out by picking a build location that doesn't have much stuff to clear. However, we chose a very rough and ready start location. It's going to look good in the end, but it's going to mean a little bit more hard work to begin with. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is a Patreon post and a YouTube members post where you guys who are members and Patreons can submit your names to become part of the colony. But another thing I'm going to need from you guys is a great idea for a colony name. Now, I want to kind of use certain things about the environment. We have like a lot of redwood forests nearby, 
and we're going colonial style. So if you can think of any cool ideas for names for our colony, put them in the comment section and I'll probably choose the best one. But there we go, the completed Builder's Hut Level 1. Fantastic, a great starting point, well, the only starting point for our brand new colony. Well, let's take a look and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, yes, 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 very nice indeed. Um, so it's a bit close to this hill, but don't worry. What we're going to be doing is coming back and kind of trimming up the landscape, doing our own little things to make the area look beautiful and amazing. But for now, this is a pretty cool looking builder's hut. So what's inside? Well, not all that much. There's no basement yet. I imagine there will be in future. But he's got a rack here to store some stuff, and he's put some of the wooden shovels we gave him there already. Very good. Very good work, Festa. What is he complaining about? Hello there. Have you heard about the resource scroll? It's a powerful tool. Actually, I have, you know. Um, I already know what it does. There we go. He doesn't have a guard. But otherwise, he's got two happiness bars. That's new. Uh, so he looks like he's in uh, pretty good shape. Now, he wasn't the quickest of builders when this went up, but as he levels up, and as time goes by and we get better builders' huts, better tools, his speed should increase. But after that mammoth session, that is where we're bringing the first episode to an end. So we've made a great start for the colony. As always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned because the coming episodes over the next few days, we're going to have a load of progress. We're going to get the town hall built, the warehouse, a courier's hut, and maybe a tavern as well to boot. Thank you for watching. As always, if you want to support the series and get your name into the colony, check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member and make a post in that thread. But until next time, guys, take care.